Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Kate and I love all things makeup, skincare, beauty, and fun. Today we're going to be talking about my monthly makeup favorites. I don't have any fails this month, which I am so grateful for. If you're interested in this type of content, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Would love it so, so much if you would subscribe to my channel down below. And without any further ado, let's go. I actually have two concealers that I want to talk about today. I was testing them both a little bit more this month and I am very happy that I own both. The first one is this one here by Too Faced. This is their Born This Way Ethereal Light Concealer. First of all, this color that I have in the shade Oatmeal, beautiful. It does have like a little bit of a peach undertone, which I find does a little bit of color correcting for me. I'm actually wearing it today. Don't pay attention to this side of my face. Just, just pretend this side of my face doesn't exist. I got some lash glue down here and it's been nothing short of a mess, but at any rate, this is not the concealer's fault. It really is a beautiful concealer. It does a nice job of illuminating my under eyes without being shiny or metallic. Um, and it also does a beautiful job of smoothing out my under eyes. I think if you are somebody that is in their 30s, 40s, 50s, this could be a really nice concealer because it really does a nice job of not drying out the under eye, of really smoothing the under eye. I just really enjoy this. This is definitely more of a medium coverage um, concealer. So if you're looking for full coverage or light coverage, I don't think you'll be super happy with this one. I think if you wanted light coverage, this could be applied less and spread out more. But I think if you want full coverage, this is not one that's going to layer beautifully to be full coverage. But if you're looking for a solid, smoothing, illuminating, medium coverage, concealer this is your go-to and I'm on the other end of the spectrum is this one by Valentino this is their very Valentino concealer I have mine in the shade uh light two I believe I enjoy this one because it's more of a matte coverage and this one can definitely be built up to be more full coverage I think on its own it's definitely a medium coverage for me personally but this one isn't this one is one that I can build up to be more full coverage. I really love the doe foot on this one. It's super flexible and it does such a nice job of really getting in there, especially like right up here where I have a lot of blueness and making sure that the product is evenly distributed. This one is not a super cost effective option. Neither of these are unfortunately. However, I'm really grateful that I have this in my collection and I'm going to definitely continue to play with this. For foundation this month, I love this foundation so much. This is even better than their Locket foundation. This is the Good Apple Serum Foundation by KVD Beauty. I have mine in the shade Light 18. I love this. It really does such a nice job of lasting all day, keeping my oils at bay. It's not going to be one of those mattifying foundations that sucks the life out of your skin. And certainly by the end of my 12 hour days, there's like a a little bit of oils poking through but I really feel like for my 10 hour work shifts this does such a nice job of keeping my oils at bay it doesn't break down no matter how sweaty or oily or gross I get throughout the day if you are a face sweater like myself you know what I'm talking about it's miserable miserable trying to find a foundation that lasts and doesn't break down when you're sweating this one I have not found does that this is a new holy grail foundation for me love 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 this the last complexion product i want to talk about is one that i've talked about before many many times on my channel but i just want to really bring home bring home <laughs> how lovely this powder is this is by huda beauty and it is her easy bake loose baking and setting powder i have mine in the shade sugar cookie I've been using this for years and every time I bring it back out, I'm always pleasantly reminded why I love this powder so much. It really does such a nice job of like pushing right into the skin, blurring everything. It keeps my face mattified and looking flawless for hours. I don't have another powder that I love nearly as much as I love <laughs> that Huda powder. It is so good. I know that the um, cherry blossom one went viral for a bit there and I think the formula is viral for a reason it really is just one of the best 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 setting powders in the game period end of story so good i have a couple of cheek products to talk about the first one is by danessa myricks and this is her yummy skin um blush and i have the shade bellini so it's like a super bright peachy shade i love this formula so i think what's super special 
that's a horrific swatch but what is super special about this formula for me is that you, this can go over a powder face this can go over a bare face this can go over just foundation and it's going to set down beautifully it's one of those that definitely has a punch but as you can see definitely can be sheared out so if you're somebody that's like really scared of maybe the color selection that she currently has i really wouldn't fret too much because as you can see it really does sheer out quite a bit if that is the look that you're going for if you're somebody like myself who really enjoys a punchy blush this is one of those products that can also be built up to really have that beautiful punch and again you can apply this over powder and it's not going to lift it's not going to smear i apply mine over powder with a sponge and i have beautiful results 10 out of 10 i definitely want more colors but this shade bellini is absolutely stunning the next blush I want to talk about is by Unearthly Cosmetics, and this is their blush in this shade Cherub. If you are somebody that is loving that cool tone bubblegum pink right now, you're going to absolutely love this by Unearthly. This is definitely that. Definitely that. And it's just such a stunning, stunning color. If you are somebody also that loves that Dior blush but really doesn't want to pay that price point for this, this is definitely more cost effective. Additionally, I find that this one almost gives a luminosity to the skin, that glow from within. It doesn't have any sparkle, any shimmer, any of that, but it definitely gives a beautiful luminosity to the skin when it's laying down. It's one of my favorite formulas in my collection because of that, because it's one of those that like no it's not a shimmery or sparkly blush but it does give luminosity and it's such a nice smooth blendable consistency 10 out of 10 love this one this is again cherub by unearthly cosmetics the last product i want to talk about today is by milk makeup this is their little contour stick i have mine in the shade toasted it's actually their sculpted stick and despite the fact that you get like the smallest compact in the world i really do find that this goes on so beautifully originally i was a little hesitant about it because i do love my westman atelier one so so much in the shade baked i no i cannot remember the shade. originally i was a little bit hesitant about this one because i love my westman atelier one so so much but this one is beautiful it's not too gray toned where you're going to look like a corpse when you apply it but it has just enough of that cooler undertone where you're definitely going to look sculpted and snatched i have seen people complaining about when you take the little topper off it's taking a chunk and mine you can see i didn't roll it up as far as i should have to take that topper off i think what people are maybe not doing is rolling it up before taking that off and so it might be like ripping up a chunk so i strongly suggest if you are picking this up and going to take the little clear topper off that you roll the product up quite a bit so that it's not going to get stuck on the sides and then consequently rip up a giant chunk of your contour or bronzer but yes definitely 10 out of 10 love this it's super smooth super blendable and the tone for me on toasted is just perfect I'm so curious to know what makeup products you guys were loving this month. Please comment down below. Let me know if there's new products or older products that I have not talked about that I should try. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. I would love it so, so much if you would subscribe to my channel down below. As always, please stay happy, stay healthy, and stay blessed. And I will see you on the next video. Bye.